Hello everyone, so today we will build ultra powerful boombox. What do you need? Few pieces of wood to make a box. Front side will be double in thickness, so three big pieces and four sides should do. I am using 9mm MDF board. You need some batteries to power the amp. I will use them in 8S 2P configuration for maximum power and also long play time. This is BMS, which protects them from overcharge or over discharge. A power switch, DC jack socket for charging. Next is voltmeter. At first I used this cheap one. It just shows you the voltage, but it is big and it's only a dollar. You can see it in action here. I want to use something better. So next option is this one. Usually it's used in quadcopters and other models to warn you about low voltage. It can show voltage of each cell. You can see it here. So cell number one, two and so on. And total voltage 22.9 volts. It costs about two dollars. Next one is this. It is four dollars, but it's pretty small. It can show you how many amps are you consuming. Maximum voltage is 30 volts, so I can't use it. And finally this one. Again, around $4. Nice and bright. You can set it in different modes. Right now it will only turn on, show the voltage and turn off. So I will use this one. Next is preamp with tonal controls. Highs, mids, lows and volume. This is connected to the main battery. This is linear regulator to 12 volts and this circuit is creating dual DC voltage because this preamp needs 12 volts ground minus 12 volts. Next is audio player module, same as I always use. This is spectrum analyzer, you could see it in my last video. And finally we have the amp, 2 times 100 watt. It will feed the speaker from SCAR Audio with two coils. Some minor things as voltage regulator, bolts and nuts and some feeds. Also handle from old belt. We will put it all together and we should get a boombox. So here I draw outlines of all holes, spectrum analyzer in the middle, a huge hole for the speaker and player module and tone controls on the top. Just like this. So let's make some holes. So now I will just uh, finish the holes with file and mount the switches. Some update about front panel. I was not satisfied with uh, the circle that I made with Jigsaw, so I borrowed top milling machine and did it again. Now it's perfect. I added support to the edges of the box, so I can round the edges and not lose strength. I will put them on the back side as well. 
Here I put press in nuts so I can install and remove the speaker many times without degradation. So this one was first try, not so round and this one is better. So we can finally glue it together. I rounded the edges and made a hole for a voltmeter and DC jack. Also I mounted the handle. I tried to make the holes for tone controls nicer, but I am not so skilled with this tool, so it is looking like this now. I also added support to the back side. I decided not to glue the back side because I need to reach the modules on the top. So I will just use screws and some rubber seals around the back side. Also I made box uh, for player so it is sealed now and no air can leak through the buttons and other holes. For now I sealed also the hole for a second switch because uh, I am waiting for the package. Here you can see the player in sealed compartment. I fitted voltmeter and DC jack. So only batteries are missing and we can play. So there will be a seal around and just four screws to tighten it. So let's make the battery. It fitted nicely, 10 cells on the bottom and 3 pieces of 3 cell units. All of them are connected to BMS, which protects them. It is 8S, so fully charged is 33.6 volts and safety shutdown should occur at 20.8 volts. So finally it is done. I was testing it uh, with 6S battery, which is 24 volts. It was fine, but uh, amp was not giving max power output. With 8S battery it played at full blast but only for a moment it burned down same as my other amps problem was the load speaker is 4 ohms and amp can only drive 6 to 8 ohms speakers at full power so this 2 times 100 watt amp is broken now i will order new chip to fix it and for now just use this amp which is the same just bridged to one time 150 watts and i will connect two coils of the speaker to series so it will be 8 ohms in total anyway in the end i will use different amp which can handle 4 ohms and can output 600 watts so subscribe and you will see boombox now weights 7.3 kilograms with batteries one small modification after switching from 24 to 34 volts i noticed that linear regulator is overheating and unstable so i added heatsink but i will replace it with, with digital pwm unit later so now i will change the amp For now it is done, so I can put some cotton inside for dampening and close it.
and let's test it. I'm in my home so I can't turn it all the way up. I need to wait for nice weather outside. See you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah.